Hi guys, my name is Meads. This is going to be a review for Figma Amatsukaze and this is from the Kankoli series. She looks amazing and from what I gather uh, she is a Kangaroo style destroyer. A prototype of Shig Shimakaze. Yep. And I think her name translates to Heavenly Wind and Shimikaze is an island breeze so something tells me Kaze means wind. I have not really studied Japanese. <laughs> And she looks adorable. She does have uh, Ren Soho, uh, the little cute little guys here, basically a double barrel naval guns. Um, Shimikaze has three of them, but she only has one. But hers has a, it's kind of part boat. It's kind of interesting. <laughs> and she does have the torpedo base on her back, similar to Shimikaze. Interesting. Alright, that's pretty much it for the box. I do like that expression there. And let's take a look inside. Alright, we got Shimakaze and Matsukaze here. They look nice. Right next to each other. Really cool. They're about the same size. They have similarities that the red stripe uh, leggings. Yep. And they do have that torpedo bay on their backs. They're actually almost the same, uh, but there's a little difference if you take this out from Shimakaze and compare it to Amatsukaze. That this is basically the difference inside or the back. It has a little bit more details here and over the top too. It's a little different. It's kind of interesting that they had that. Alright, so... Um, I'm gonna have a uh, Shimikaze here on the side and I get him back to Amatsukaze. In terms of articulation, she is great. Um, you got this uh, ponytail here on both sides and they're on a ball joint as well as the rest of her hair which is on a ball joint as well. And this helps a lot um, in terms of uh, when you have this on the back here. A lot easier when they have the hair on the side. And there's no hair restriction on her, which is great. Jimikaze has that anchor thing that's always in the front. Yeah, so that's great. Moving down, you have her color of her coat or her dress is kind of like uh, coffee, that uh, rich brown color. I'm not sure how well that shows in the camera. But that, that's the color. And in terms of articulation, really great. <laughs> you get that, uh, the new elbow joint, which I really like. And the shoulders are double jointed. So it gives you a little bit more articulation there. And you have the wrist joint. Now for the wrist joint, since actually you have uh, her right hand is wearing a glove. But the way they made it is that the wrist joint is still flesh, so it's like a short, small glove there. And going along with that, you have this extra wrist joint, which is flush in color. And you have the rack right here. And actually there, they have a varying uh, design <laughs> for in the you know, two sides. Uh, so we think you have the salute, you have the pointing finger to hold a sword or some kind of accessories, and a fist. Same thing with the other side with this one, and you can wield something with that. And a pointing finger, but this one is more straight than the other one. <laughs> and it seems like a shake, if you want to shake a hand, a uh, hand gesture. Interesting. But no, I'm just going to leave it at that. Although the open hands are different uh, from left to right. So that's another thing. <laughs> uh, different faces. So I think let's do a quick close up on that one. There we go. So she has a really nice brown eyes. And uh, she has a little bit of a blush. Yep. <laughs> so. Uh, I think her personality was a sundere, yeah. So aside from that face, uh, you have this one right here, where she's somewhat smiling, but still has that blush on that. 
and you have this one where her mouth is open. Not sure she's either angry or excited. <laughs> and uh, to swap it out, it's just front up, uh, remove the front bangs. I think I'm just gonna keep with this uh, face. Other than that, on top here, uh, it's like the smokestack. You can pop this out and attach this one. So my understanding, since she's a prototype, I think they retrofitted her with a high temperature boilers, which I can't see uh, the smoke there or the steam. Yeah, interesting design. <laughs> but I, I just prefer this one. It's nice though. Try to get, make it more historically uh, relevant. <laughs> right, so other than that, uh, we have uh, her psychic. So a little bit. And a psychic is Ren Soho Chan. <laughs> and this one just mounts on the side. You just pop this out. There we go. Again, this one's a little different. Comes with a boat. Yep. Uh, in terms of articulation, you can move the neck. And you can move that double barrel here. Yep. Now this is a little different. Uh, well, different from Shimikaze because Shimikaze she comes with three. This one just one. Hmm. And also there's some lettering. Uh, this one reads uh, Zikatsuma. Let me try that again. Zikatsuma, which is basically Amatsukaze backwards. And I think they did the same thing with Shimakaze. And I think that's, uh, let's see if I read that, Zekamachi. <laughs> and I think it goes along with how they write Japanese. Is For us, uh, English speakers, or I mean, there's a lot of actually language that kind of goes along with you're from the Latin base. We write from left to right. Japanese uh, writes from down to bottom, then right to left. Back. So, Hence the why they did a little bit of backwards. It's a play on words. Yeah, so, so that's kind of interesting. Um, other than that, I think that's it. <laughs> I think we went over it. Uh, there is not much accessory for her. Uh, it makes you wonder if they made those submarines, uh, those ladies. There's basically none other than the, maybe they add more torpedo or something, but... Yeah, this is probably the least Kankali Figma in terms of accessories. <laughs> when Shimikaze comes with three Renzoho, this one just one. Yeah, but this is nice. Um, actually, I I really like this one now. Initially, I wasn't too much of a fan for Amatsukaze since she's a Sundare <laughs> an anime. I think she, yeah, I think that was her in the anime, but. Having this figure, she's great. Um, I really like how they done the hair, really nice. And this little guy here, which I, I'm not sure if I already mentioned, but you can move the head and the turrets here. I don't think you can move the body. Yeah, that, that's pretty much it. <laughs> Anyways, that's about it. Um, I got mine from Amiyami. I don't think she comes with any exclusives. Yeah. Anyways, that's about it. Um, if you have any questions, uh, let me know. And that's about it. So until then, this is Meads. Thanks for watching.